And there are many uh, symbols of the Christian church and of the Muslim and of Jewish faith. Because Bien believes that Satan manifests himself through those religions and actually corrupts them and corrupts humanity through that. Now, you may not agree with that, although many of you are very religious people. And yet, we see in the world that nothing we do seems to solve the problems of humanity. Humanism. I have said many times myself, humanism, which is where human beings decide how to best manage the world, is a scorpion that will sting itself to death. Because there really is nothing human beings can do because, because we're greedy or we have desires. Now, I want to ask you something. Do you people have desires? Everybody has desires. You want to be rich? How many want to be rich? Some do. How many want to be famous? I see a camera. How many want to be powerful? How would you like to have all the pleasure you could have in the world? Anybody? You all deny it. Now, that's character. We don't want to show that aspect of ourselves. We want to think of ourselves as good people, good to others, good for ourselves too. And, and yet, behind character is something called personality. And only you people know your own hidden thoughts. And I, I would bet that none of you, if you knew your own hidden thoughts and perhaps you hide them from yourselves, would consider yourselves really good human beings in the likeness of God, the or Christ. So, you have to look at them. And, and let's see, boy, I left the readable part. My eyes are very bad because all of my life I've been working in very detailed paintings as the end does. And as a result, in the last year of creating what I consider my greatest work, the El Portfolio Paradise Lost, my eyesight became bad. So I'm going to recite to you now the Book of the Dam, Book 7 of the Satanic Verses. And I have to say that all of you are damned. I, the preface to this book is C.S. Lewis. You all know C.S. Lewis? Great. Right. It is a serious thing to live in a society of possible gods and goddesses. To remember that the dullest, most uninteresting person you talk to may one day be a creature which, if you saw it now, you would be strongly attempted to worship, or else a horror and a corruption such as you now meet, if at all, only in a nightmare. Now we begin the verses of Neil. The wise rulers, Euro-Asian Euro American, the cult prosperity spirit, democracies, a fiction, not by many elected, by Satan. I know the rights by which they rule. The world is made of numbers. Pythagoras knew, Father Guru. I know their numbers and their shape, the Pentagon, Satan's star. Ruled we are not from among our own, but by the ever unchanging high order of that satanic club. The enlightened ones, to do good, they say, and no harm, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. They will perform wonderful works for humanity and feed us milk and honey, but it will be bitter in our mouths, like that little book of John. The number of the beast is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Understand one thing, the kingdom under the Antichrist more glorious than any earthly kingdom, the height of man's endeavor and achievement. All will welcome it and abide by its benevolent rules. My further revelations here 
have been banned by those who feared. The mighty men who rule would not approve. The march of freedom and democracy and truth is a dung heap of dreams. Yes, wonderful works for humanity. And feed us milk and honey, bitter in our mouths. For you are the numbers by which the beast rules, by the numbers of the mortgage you hold and must be paid, by the numbers of the interest rate under which you groan, hangs from one golden thread of one great thing, that when a man owns, he wants more, always more, and will borrow for a dream of future happiness and then will slave until his dying day to repay. Numbers all, under the beast, how many men to mine, how many men to build a throne for Satan, a tower above God himself, how many hands, how many minds, salaried all, but the beast gets back an in interest. Numbers all, fractals of the beast geometry, and should one number fall, and another number will replace. You are the numbers all. See the wonders for humanity, to build a church of Satan, to write with God. Be proud of your labors, that shine in glory, in homage to the beast. Thank you to step out from this gin and snare, become a man of God? Not likely. There are rules to this number game. The righteousness who rule call it law and regulation, for the social good. You break the rule and do not pay, he takes your house and land away, or do not eat. Or in prison will you stay? You made the devil's bargain, and now you are a number in the shining city of Satan. Enjoy the glory. Slave to salary and mortgage, drown your sorrows in the splendors of his kingdom. With the opiates he offers of lust and of desire for more and more. Yes, bitter is the milk and honey. That's it. That's book seven. <laughs> and yeah, this, this, is, this is the genius behind you for that <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, It's actually a very powerful philosophy of the fact that we are all slaves to the mortgage and that we all desire more and more. If we have things, we're not satisfied. I don't think any of you are satisfied with what you have. You always want that little bit more, very modestly perhaps, but you want more. And the more you get, the more you can get, and we're led on. And for, for what? Dust to dust. And for the glory of what? A glory for the men of power who, who, who really do own everything. You know, they build great cultures, great societies, and you know, great, great monuments and buildings and, and paintings. They have museums for you. You can come and look. But it's for them because they are Satan's minions. And you can't get out of it. You want to be good, you cannot. And uh, you can be like Gandhi or Christ, you know, or whoever. Give up all your wealth, you know. And uh, I have to say that Bien does not believe in money. I know that for a fact. I gave up all of my 